Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. I talk about decluttering, downsizing, minimalism, and just living a simpler life with less. Um, and we are a national company, so if you um, want to share my videos, um, please feel free to because there's obviously a lot of desire to um, have this kind of information, which is why I do what I do, because I love it. Um, so there are five surprising ways that minimalism improves your relationships. <clears throat> and uh, just a question, do you know that simplifying your life can actually lead to a happier, um, healthier, more loving um, connection to all of those around you? So in this video, I'm going to share <clears throat> um, those with you. So the five unexpected ways that minimalism can actually improve your relationships is number one, it reduces stress. So I don't know about you, but a messy house kind of creates a little bit of anxiety, um, a lot of anxiety sometimes, sometimes arguments, um, and sometimes that whole blame game of it's your mess, not mine. Um, so if you have a simpler home with less, if you've decluttered and if you're living a little bit more of a minimalist lifestyle, chances are that stress level will be reduced. And number two is that fosters communication and more meaningful connection. So in my home, um, you know, it's, it's just so important to really sit down at the kitchen table or sit down on the sofa with my significant other, enjoy our real conversations. When my, my boys or my grandchildren come over <clears throat> and their families, there's nothing more important to me than just being with them. And when you live a minimalist lifestyle, um, you just don't have all that stuff in your way um, that prevents you from having those kind of warm, um, connecting kind of conversations and relationships. <clears throat> um, and number three is a minimalist lifestyle actually promotes gratitude. So not a day goes by that I am not grateful for such a simple life. Now that was not always the case because eight years ago, I had a very large home. I was inundated and I was overwhelmed by so much stuff and there was never a minute in the day that I really had to myself so every day I'm grateful for that <clears throat> another thing I'm grateful for every single day is having the opportunity to share my experiences with you um, it's it's my journey is your journey or your journey is my journey whichever way you want to look at it but you know the fact that I've been there and done that if I can help you in any way, that's why I do these videos, that's why I create a lot of content, um, and it's what gives me joy. And from what I hear from other people, it is making a difference. So number four, it enhances quality time together. So very similarly to um, fostering communication, um, just that quality time together. When you don't have a lot on that to-do list or the to-do list is so short that you can manage it very easily, it definitely gives you more time together. And, you know, if you prioritize it, then that quality time is where you develop a great deal of happiness and joy. Um, people in your life um, are connected to you and you're connected to them because obviously you're giving of yourself and of your time to be together. And the last one is it encourages personal growth. So for me, <laughs> I will tell you that when I had my big house, I had no time. And I was also, um, <clears throat> you know, had a full-time business, a building and a couple of different mortgages. It was crazy. And, and I enjoyed it, but honestly, the minute it was gone, it was like, whew, that's what that felt like. So what I was able to do then was to actually start um, writing, which I never knew I would be a writer start producing content like this, um, start doing um, regular videos, um, which I never thought I would be doing that either. But when you have time and when you're passionate about something, um, you just make time for it. So my personal growth has been exponential since I've lived a simpler life and, and maybe become a minimalist as well. So minimalism, as you know, is often associated with decluttering our physical space, but honestly, it can profoundly impact your personal relationships and your, your mental well-being. So less, less stuff can mean more love. Um, in today's world where we're conditioned to believe that more is better, 
Um, it's not necessarily true when it comes to relationships because minimalism does reduce that stress, just like I talked about. Um, it does foster better communication and connection. Um, it does um, um, <clears throat> um, promote gratitude, um, less stuff, more gratitude. And also um, it, it em enhances that quality time together. And um, so that you can be present with, fully present with people around you. And also minimize, minimalism encourages empathy and understanding. So perhaps one of the most surprising ways that minimalism um, has been for me is that it creates space for empathy and understanding. Um, when you get bogged down by stuff, we can focus um, on the needs of others. So you can listen more deeply. Um, the relationships can grow even stronger. And we can learn to prioritize the emotional needs of our partners and our, our families. Um, and we can plan time together, have more meaningful conversations. Um, we show up more fully um, and, and then we start to feel more connected, um, more, more seen um, and more heard. So minimalism does help us discover the relationships um, are not, are they're about people, they're not about possessions. So I do hope this helps. Um, it's just a simple reflection, but I do want you to know that you matter. Um, your, your ideas matter. So please feel free always to reach out to me, Rita Wilkins at RitaWilkins.com. And um, your ideas for what you're needing help with are how I create my content. Have a good day.